Race six on the program is over 1,900 meters, and it's at the top of the hour, four o'clock. And it's a 78 handicap. Very, very tough race, in my opinion. There are four recent maiden winners in the race. Four recent maiden winners. So it's going to be interesting to see how they shape first time in open company. And I find it quite hard to assess. But let's go through a couple of the runners. And I'm going to start off with one of the recent maiden winners who might well be up to the task of winning again or at least running an absolute cracker first time out the maidens. And that's number one, Origami. And the form has worked out very, very well. When he beat Mystic Master, there have been eight runners since then for as much as three winners. That's encouraging. Origami expected to go well. Number two, Velvet Season. Hasn't had the best of luck when it comes to draws. Gets a kind draw on Wednesday. You can ignore his last start, and I'm expecting Velvet Season to run very well. Fat Cigar is clearly a cult that's on the improve and that's on the up. Beat H2O last time at only the second time of asking. And H2O has since come out and won. He might well be up to the task at hand of winning first time out the maidens or at least getting into the action. Sasura, horse number six for Allison and Kevin Wright. Lyle Hudson rides. Mr. Sugulam pays the bills there. Consistent overall form should be in the shakeup and has obvious claims. Seven, the Bayou, Paul Lafferty and Shakti Banwari ignore the last start when disqualified. Tabisa Gomede came in slightly underweight. Disqualified was the Bayou. Anton Marcus now gets back aboard and the last time the Bayou passed the finishing line first, Anton Marcus was in the irons. So that's encouraging. Magok out of a mare called Blue Bayou. Others to talk about, number eight, just for the penny. Decent recent form uh, and certainly got to be respected just for the penny. Uh, hasn't won for 581 days, but the way that she, he's running, the way that he's running certainly suggests that he's going to be in the winner's enclosure soon. And the last one I'd like to talk about is number 12, Fire on the Track. Keegan DeMello for Robbie and Shannon Hill, Priggy Sinisundrum and Mayesh Chetty. They are drawn a bit deep with Fire on the Track. But the post-maiden effort was a good one. He really ran on powerfully to finish fourth to on top of the world. It's a tough, tough race with a merit rating. The average merit rating is 71. The top of the speed form rating column is, is Velvet Season, horse number two. I'm trying to give you as much information as I can. There look to be some progressive three-year-olds in this race that could well be up to the task of winning first time out the maidens. It's tough. It's competitive. I suggest you include as much as your budget would allow and hope that you get through this race, race number six. But as I said, one of the recent maiden winners could win first time out in open company.